Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to export any of the LEGO bricks and any of the LEGO models to your Unreal Engine game project. So first, you have to go to download the LeoCAD. I already provide you all these download links. You just need to scroll down. Scroll down, go to the video description and click this link. Then you, you should be able to download the installer of the LeoCAD. Install into your computer and start it. LeoCAD. All right. Here you can create any of, of the 3D models of the Lego bricks. For example, I will just put something, the brick. You can change the colors as well. Try blue. So as demo, I will just make it simple. Don't want to be too complicated. All right. Now this is a Lego Lego model Lego brick. Next, once you finish design by using the LeoCAD model. What you need to do is just File Export. Export as the wavefront. This is a this is the OBZ file. I will export on my desktop. New models, for example, this one Lego zero one. I will save on my desktop. No. Now it is an OBZ file. If I double click. It'll open with my 3D viewer. Alright. Next. Open your icon. Before you export to your Unreal Engine, you need the icon as well. So how to set up the icon Unreal Life link? Check this video out for detailed workflow. Last time I already created a video for you. It is really very detailed step by step on how to export any of, of the 3D models from, from iClone to Unreal Engine 4. So why not you direct drag in the OBZ into your Unreal Engine? There will be a lot of problem if you direct drag into your Unreal Engine 4 because it involves too many meshes. So I would prefer to use the iClone Unreal Life link that it will automatically send it to Unreal Engine and already simplify as a single mesh. So in the iClone, if you still don't know how to set up the iClone Unreal Life link, you can just go to this tutorial link. This is my YouTube video as well. Go and check this out. So as demo, I will assume that you already have the Unreal Life link. So now I will launch launch my Unreal Engine. Before that, in the icon, I will drag in the OBZ file. Drag the Lego 01 OBZ file into icon. It contains four meshes. Would you like to break up the meshes into the sub -prop? This one I select no. And you can see now it, the direction is wrong. So I will press, I will press E. All right, this one I make sure make it become negative 90, enter. And then now click reset transform to make everything back to zero. Scroll down, click the pivot at the center center bottom and drag it up again reset transform and click zero out now it will back to the center the whole 3d mesh all right next i 
I will open one of my Unreal Engine project. Next, I will just give you a demo on how to how to send this 3D model from Icon to Unreal Engine 4. Now Unreal Engine 4 already opened. And I already set up the CC setup and Icon Live link. In the Icon, I already have the Unreal Live link. I click plug in, Unreal Live link, I open it. Now, I drag it to here. This is the Unreal Live link. See. So, first, uncheck everything. And this is the one that I want to send to Unreal Engine, I just need to take it, this is a prop. And then, I click transfer file. In your Unreal Engine 4 here. So click transfer file in Icon. It will automatically open this. This is a command. You no need to read for that, just need to wait for a while. Now is that ready? Alright, you see, it is ready. Next, what should I do? Which one is the skeleton mesh? The skeleton mesh is here. I double click it. And then, click make static mesh. Now already in the Unreal Engine. So, create a static mesh it, it will be under folder meshes. I will name it Lego01. Click OK. Now close. Click the content. Go and find the meshes folder here. This is a Lego01. It is a static mesh now. I double click it. And next step, set the collisions. Drag out, drag down. The collisions, the collision complexity, set it as use complex collision, then click save, close. Now I want to drag out this static mesh. It already have the collisions. If I try to play, this is Lego, Lego boat. See, it already has The collision is quite quite accurate because I use the complex collision. All right. So actually, by using the Leo Cats, you can create your Lego world. This is how can we transfer it by using the icon and real life link. What about if I direct drag in the OBJ? What will happen? I back to the contents and I will give you a demo. I just right click open a new folder. A new folder, I name it demo. I double click the demo. Alright, if I don't use the Unreal Life link, I direct drag in the OBJ. I open a new folder first. Lego01. If I drag in the OBJ file, it will have a lot of problems. That's why. That's why I recommend you to use to use the Unreal Life link, the Icon Unreal Life link. You see, if you direct drag in the OBJ, it all separated into different meshes. Different meshes is separated into different static mesh. There, then it will make you in trouble. You can just imagine if you design a very complicated model. It break all your models into into pieces. We don't want this to happen in our three D models, in our Lego models. So I suggest use, I suggest you to use the Icon, use the the Icon and Real Life link to direct transfer. And it won't have any problem. All right, next one. What I'm going to show you is, actually you can download a lot of the Lego models from internet. I already provide you the best website here, 
this omr.ldraw.org slash files. I, I just copy this, this URL. You can click this URL from bottom, go to the video description, you can click it. All right, now I try to find some models. I search here, for example, I search car. So many models, let's say I click racing cars. All right, this is a 3D model, I download it. Once you download it, it is an MPD file. I click show in folder, it is an MPD file. You can open this MPD file by using your LeoCAD. Drag in, don't save. All right, now you can see this is, this is the Lego model that you can open by using the LeoCAD. This is the MPD file. So actually you have unlimited Lego models here. You can just search it, for example, house. You also can get a lot of house, even white house. So as demo, same as here, just need to export it as wavefront. Or if you want to edit it, it is okay also. You can edit this model, you can add some bricks here. For example, if I want to add a brick here. Okay, let's say I, I already add the break here. Next, what can I do? File, export. Let's say I, I want to add one more. Maybe add another model here. Same as just now, file, export. Export as a wavefront. It's on my desktop. Save. All right. Next. This is a racing car.obz. I will drag into my icon. This one I can delete it already. Drag the racing car obz into the icon. Don't break it. Next. The rotate X make it negative 90. Then click reset scale. Sorry. Reset transform. Drag down. Set the pivot at the center bottom. Reset transform. Next, make sure you take it in your Unreal Life link and you click transfer file. Then you can immediately check in your Unreal Engine 4. Once it finish, finish transfer, it will be here. Automatic, it will open the folder automatically. Now you can see, it is here. Go and find the, the skeleton mesh. Same as just now. Double click the, the skeleton mesh. And then make static mesh. This one, I will name it Lego 02. Save. Close. Next, click the contents and where is the meshes? It's somewhere here. Lego 02, I double click it. Same as just now, set the collision. The collision complexity. Use complex collision as symbol. Save. Now I try, try this model. Lego 02. Alright, now I try to test play. Not this, this one. That is awesome. You already have the collision. Set the collision automatically. And that's all for today about how to create any of the 3D models. Down, sorry, how to create any of the Lego models and download any of the Lego models and send it to your Unreal Engine's 
to make it become your game object to make it become a prop in your object and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you feel all these tutorial are very helpful to your 3d animation and game developing you can subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the mini bell to activate the notifications so that when next time i publish a new video tutorial you receive a notification immediately see you in my next video enjoy and happy animation and game developing see you